Amici, I'm sorry, but I did it again. <laughs> Buongiorno amici, ciao a tutti, sono BC and welcome to another episode on the Diamond Society. Oh, you saw in that intro, man, I have been busy. I've been busy doing the work, man, I have been busy doing the work, and uh, tragically so. So, I'm not trying to keep you guys in the dark, man, I had recorded such an epic epic episode for you guys several time lapses all kinds of stuff going around downtown doing some shopping visiting some things checking out some stuff uh even did a little mini prank on somebody and uh it was kind of a gift prank but either way when it was all said and done none of my recording files had any audio whatsoever and it seems to be a trend with me, man. I need to start uh, making sure I'm checking things out a little bit uh, sooner before I start recording. But, uh, yeah, that's what I get. So, I was frustrated. I was really, really frustrated. And I kind of just took my frustra frustration out here on the Nether Hub. And this is where we're at, man. Holy cow. This is where we're at. So, mm, that's not a good thing. Okay, so this is where we're at, and lots of good stuff is happening out here. Yeah, you're going to have to die, guy. Nope. Gotcha. All right, lots of good stuff is happening, man. And this is more or less, man, Nether Hub Phase 1 is complete. Uh, there, this is probably going to be about three, maybe five phases in total, but phase one is definitely done. And, uh, and I had a promise to my fellow Diamond Society members that I would actually have uh, everything ready for them to start burrowing out tunnels, and I have kept that promise. So that was kind of another reason why I was busting my hump and getting this all set and all ready. So everything here is is good to go, man. People could start doing their tunnels, and 
they're going to do it when they do their tunnels. We're not going to use signage. We're going to use like a, I guess you could call it a caricature, like a little building right up here in the front that will represent uh, the build that is beyond through the tunnel. Whatever the destination is, there will be a small build here, like a caricature that will represent uh, where we're going. And because Mr. Howitzer and Mr. Hodag have been such amazing guys with me kind of moving their tunnels and moving their things and blocking this and uh, moving his minecart thing. I'm going to build the first one, and it's going to be right here. And it's actually going to serve me as well, uh, but it's going to be the way to the Guardian Farms and I guess the Wolf Farm as well. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and build this up real quick. We could easily do it on camera, but uh, it's it's going to be... It's going to be something that's not perfect. It's going to be detailed and weathered, and I, and I know it's going to take me some time. So let me get this knocked out, and then we'll talk about uh, how it's all going to work in the grand scheme of things. And then I've actually got another time lapse in store for you after that. So hang in there, and I'll be right back with you. The first caricature is built. It is in place. It is designated. There is no way you can mistake that for anything else. That is the way to the Guardian Farms. And when I say farms, I mean uh, not only mine, but also to Hodag and Howitzer's farm that they're working on. And uh, really excited to see the progress on that. Uh, looking forward to an update. But yeah, this will be the entrance. And all we do is just pass on right under here. And I've just mocked out the way ahead and so on and so forth. So... It looks a little strange kind of sitting all by itself. I mean, with the color scheme we got going on here and that, of course, it doesn't match. It's not supposed to match, man. It's just supposed to be a representation on where you're going. But now we're going to do that time lapse that I talked about, and we're going to fill in a little bit more of this nether hub. I guess you could call it phase two. And that's by putting in this mezzanine that's going to be going around this interior area. And uh, that should kind of help put a cap on this a little bit and uh, shape it so it doesn't look so awkward. When we come back, we'll work out some light fixtures or at least some, uh, I guess you could call them light fixtures. And uh, and yeah, let's go take a, round, a look around town because someone told me <laughs> that there's something out and about that I need to look at. Quick, short, and sweet. And like that, phase two of the Nether Hub is done, which was this mezzanine, man. I really wanted to get this mezzanine up and running. And uh, eventually there's going to be uh, like another floor ceiling covering that will come off of this mezzanine out in this direction, which will basically cap off this area here where the tunnels start. Uh, but for right now, I just don't, uh, don't want to put that in. And frankly, I'm just I'm running out of supplies, man. I got to do another supply run. But before we go, or at least before we leave this area, there's one other thing that I want to do real quick, and it's to install these, like, lamp things. And 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 really, they're not lamps in the sense of uh, giving off light, but I want to get them in here nonetheless. Let's see. I want to put, I think, that one. Yeah, in the glass. I want to give it kind of an anchor point so it doesn't look like it's just uh, floating. 
And like that. And let's see, I think let's go for two. Should we go for three? Let's try three and see how this looks. Now, let's see right here. Hopefully this doesn't look too tall and stretched out. Put that there. Make that one. And a piece of glass. Now, before I get up too high, let me get my fences in place. Like this. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. And, oh, I'm right at the top now. Okay, I'm kind of cramping myself in here. Let's see here. Can I get rid of you and you? Let me take a step down. That's two. Let's see. If I put the third one here... And then, oh, I can't reach over there. Let's see here. I'm not sure if I want three glass. Like, if I want to have the two quarts and the uh, two quarts and the three glass, or if I want to have the three quarts and the two glass. So let's take a look at this and see what it looks like from a distance. Hmm. It almost looks like it's just stretched out too much. Let's let's take this down a bit. Let's take it down one here. Oh, of course, I'm not going to be able to reach anything. All right. Let me lower this all down a sec and see where we're at with it now. Get these bars. We'll bring you down right there. Allow all these guys to connect back up. And then you were a fancy guy just like this and let's get these bars all the way around just like that let's see how this looks hopefully it doesn't look as disproportionate yeah no that looks better that looks better with less less of the uh less of the white and more of the the purple and uh yeah i'm just gonna place that at every little uh tunnel side to side entrance thing and uh yeah, then we'll, uh, I think we'll move on. Yeah, I like the way it's going to look. They're not lights, but they definitely look like lights. And the way a colored glass works out, it really captures the light. And uh, even perhaps when we upgrade to the 1.12, I don't know how, how much more vibrant all of this glass is going to become. But the potential is there for this to be just even more exciting. So we'll have to see what comes of that. One thing I was just thinking of while I was building this is... When you come out of this portal, there really is no bearing as far as north, east, south, and west. It's hard to, uh, like, understand. And if if indeed, like, these center passages here are going to lead to, like, where the... Um, uh, where the uh, the things are going to be for... To getting out to the overworld, like, the quick pass to the, the different... Um, gosh, I can't think. The colonies, the uh, the the subdivisions whatever um there's got to be a way like i mean there's not going to be enough room in here to make a caricature so perhaps i could talk to all the other diamond society folks and see if maybe there's a particular color that uh that each district uh stands for like there's a color that represents them uh perhaps for the slums it's i don't know let's say it's green and then what i could do is i could actually come in and change this glass right here in this beacon so that this beacon light right here is green and you're like, oh, that's the slums way. So just an idea. Still getting a problem with some gas spawns in here and I don't know, man. They come from the weirdest places. Like they're spawning on this. And I thought this carpet and the glass would disrupt them, but it's not doing it so much. So it's very, very few and far between, but I think once we dig that underground cavern, hopefully everything spawns under there and nothing wants to be in here. So we really got to get on that. But anyway, oh my gosh, I know for you it's been a short while of working in here. But for me, it's been a very long while. Uh, and like I said, just because I had that total recording failure with the... Uh, with the initial episode of bringing this up and about. So anyway, this is looking pretty good. I just got to repeat it all the way around. We've got one tunnel designated, which is fantastic, awesome, and super fine. And uh, yeah, let me clear my inventory of whatever building materials are needed to stay in this area. And uh, 
let's go check out some things in the overworld real quick. Well, Amici, things are getting crazy out here. Look at this, man. Holy cow. Out of nowhere, this skyscraper has come up. I think the last time we saw it, there was just some frame. I don't even know if it was that. And uh, Traven has been doing the work. And check this out around the corner. Oh, my goodness, man. Coop has put the cherry on top. He officially hit, hit build limits. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Okay, so we got to see what comes next to that. But yeah, man, all kinds of cool things going on downtown. And I, I saw a rumor in the Discord chat that apparently, uh, even though Traven went through all this hard work to put up this wall, that somehow we still got infiltrated by a zombie. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He is totally pimped out. He's even got diamond rings on and a top hat. Dude, that is awesome. And I heard someone also said that I came to the rescue, but uh, uh, look at that. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> what the heck, man? Hold on. Hold the phone. Why I gotta have the gray hairs? Why I gotta have the gray hairs, man? That's that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. But hey, before we depart, real quick, I want to show you something over here in the slums. And uh, it's something that we went and visited, but uh, because of what in the heck? What is this mess? Holy good gracious almighty. All right, so we came over here earlier and uh, went ahead and patronized a new business in town. Actually, two new businesses in town. One was Traven's Armor Shop. And let me dispatch this guy real quick. Uh, right here. And uh, he had some really... Mm. Oh, oh. Uh, anyway, he's got some good deals. He's selling uh, not only regular... Uh, Regular di or, yeah, diamond armor, but also diamond tools and enchanted stuff. So we bought some boots and an axe, uh, basically just to kind of uh, already have the uh, the first couple pieces of our epic loot or our epic gear already built and made. So it's nice to just have those for a spare. This is new. What is this? The Enchanter Shack. Ah. Ah, ooh, well that's very generous, man, very cool. Nice of someone to make that. Oh, get the thing. Um, yeah, good stuff. But this is what we patronized right here. Check this out. This is built by Silvercoss, uh, and it is called Pandora's Box, man. And basically it's a loot crate service. So Silvercoss has started a subscription service to like a, a loot crate. And we have definitely signed ourselves up for a three-month subscription. So really, really looking forward to that, man. This is such a cool idea, man. It's a great way to do something like in your community and to give back and to do something that's like fun. And it transcends everybody else's videos that, part that participate in it. So very, very cool idea, man. That is, that is awesome. And I'm looking forward to the first installment of my little uh, Pandora's gift box. So... Um, I think because we don't really have a proper base, I asked him to deliver it up on top of the clock tower. So that is where we will be. But you know what? We're going to head back over here to uh, good old... Uh, I, maybe it's Ajax, because you know Ajax has got gray hair. Seems legit. <laughs> but anyway, Amici, that is uh, going to be all the time that I've got for today. Man, we got a lot of stuff done, and that nether hub is coming along super cool and super fine. Um, I'm going to keep plugging away on there, but uh, we've also got some other projects that we are working on. We've got the um, the, the boat race ice thingy something something, and we've got the guardian farm that we're still working on. And I haven't been out there in a while because I have been humping away at the, um, at the uh, gosh, the nether hub. So... 
Uh, I'll tell you what, man, we're going to probably move on from the Nether Hub. We've gotten, like I said, we finished up phase one and two. It's probably going to be about a three phase build, maybe five. I don't know, man. It just depends on how detailed we want to get. But uh, I got a couple other little detailed things to do, like those little lampposts. And then, um, yeah, man, we'll uh, we'll see about getting to phase three and beyond uh, sometime in the near future. But in the meantime, next time we join up, man, we'll we'll be in a different part of the world doing something epic together. So for now, Amici, have a great day. Ciao a tutti and aloha. Say it, BC. Brr, brr. <laughs> bye bye.